The views and opinions expressed in Media Litter Sandwich do not reflect on the views of the network, station, studio, website, sponsors, guests, hosts themselves, anyone or anything else associated or even not associated with this podcast. Maybe not even the person that said them. In other words, do your own research and do not sue anyone over what is said on this show. <laughs> no, seriously, don't kill me. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Media Lyrics Sandwich, the show where well, we talk about some social media stuff, some media creation stuff, authors, YouTube, a social media video. Yeah, no one calls himself a YouTuber anymore. They either lie and say they're an influencer or they're a social media creator because YouTube... Who's only on YouTube now? I know I'm not. I'm on DV Radio every Tuesday night at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to hear the episodes first, that's where you go. And I'm in the chat room. Um, if I'm listening to this on DV Radio, I'm probably in the chat room right now. If you can't, it comes out the following Monday on Spotify, YouTube, uh, Podbean, uh, the Apple thing, the Google thing, the other things. Pretty much anywhere fine podcasts are sold except for like three different things. And if you listen on those three different things and can't find me to or sandwich, let me know. I'll try to get us on them again. So today I'm saying go, go ahead and introduce yourself um, before you video versions different than the audio version. I'm a little intimidating. Uh, if you flex again, I, I might I might blush. <laughs> for those that know me, know me as a Jack Geek on Instagram. And if you don't know me yet, it's spelled J A. C three D G three three K and yes, I use Elite Speak when I come up with my screen name because I'm also a huge computer nerd on top of being a bodybuilder and a powerlifter. Yeah, when when he says three D, that that's because he's gonna. I I know I know there's a bicep joke in there somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. So computer nerd and bodylifter. Um, wow, everything I learned growing up in the 80s and 90s just 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 lied to me. Just completely lied to me. How do those things go together? <laughs> I don't know. It's like, for me, I was needed like an outlet when I was younger. Mm -hmm. So I started, you know, messing around with the weights. And then after I got out of college and everything, people were like, hey, man, you're getting real good. Did you might as well like start training people? So I did the whole group X personal trainer thing. Mm -hmm. And then I started talking to people like, man, try to do a show. Just do a show. Just do a show. So the first show did horribly at it because I couldn't pull for anything. Second one I actually did a lot better, just from like you no know, tying up my poles a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then I got talking to doing some powerlifting at the same time. So in your shows, you do powerlifting. You do what do you do in your shows? When you say show, you're talking about YouTube, or are you talking about uh, oh sorry uh, guest appearances somewhere? Oh, I apologize. I mean like physique shows because normally I've been doing a few physique okay. shows with NPC. Mm -hmm. So I've done those, and then so the what's a physique show? Is that where you go off and 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 like like a male review where there's some music and you and you do a little? I I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Video version is different than the audio version. Pretty much. <laughs> All there is is I'm wearing um, board shorts versus a thong. Oh, okay. Because that's what we do. Bible, like, dude. I'm not wearing a thong. <laughs> I'm not gonna get greased up with other dudes wearing thongs. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> Somewhere out there, someone's going, aww. <laughs> <laughs> so, so are these competitions? Yeah. Oh, do, do you, um, um, if you don't, we could edit this out, but do you have any titles? Um, I got a few medals from doing it. Okay. And then, of course, I got the, if you want to see my other videos on YouTube, mm -hmm. either on my channel or on that show, or the following announcement, when I appear as Deadpool, that's where I got the source from. Okay. Yeah, yeah, man. Dude, this guy as Deadpool, you you know, the now Deadpool you have to talk a lot, but if we're just talking, you know, showing like like uh, um visibility, you nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> just like this guy is is you know, cause cause you're not like a super tall guy. It, right. it, does that does that come into play? Like, do you go to a show where you're like the shortest person? <laughs> Because I was in an elevator today with 15 women, and this was probably the first time I was in any kind of room where I was the tallest person since I worked, I, I don't know, I sent for years. <laughs> now, Ryan Twist is, or like both 
power lift and then bodybuilding, that's worse than my advantage. Okay. Bodybuilding because you know it helps your body feel, look like it's more full when you're shorter. Mm -hmm. And then for powerlifting because I'm closer to the ground when I do deadlifts. Okay. Okay. And uh, uh, um, I'm a little hard of hearing. I'm sh and oh. you said uh, powerlifting, right? Right, because I do both bodybuilding and powerlifting. Okay. And me being short, like I said, it's like, you know, I feel out a lot easier. Okay. And then when I'm doing powerlifting, with me being short, I'm closer to the ground for squats and deadlifts. And then I have longer arms. Yeah. So it gives me an ultra advantage with deadlifts, but unfortunately mm -hmm. not so much for bench. Okay. So you do the so you do these shows, powerlifting, bodybuilding, and your YouTube show. Um, do, what else are you doing? I know you're doing social media stuff. Right, mostly like most of my stuff now with it being most fitness mm -hmm. gear is actually on Instagram. Because mm -hmm. originally I was doing a lot more IT stuff to start off with. And then from doing IT stuff, people said they want to do see more of the fitness stuff. And they say, you know, the fitness <laughs> stuff took over. And then, of course, YouTube doesn't really like fitness as much as the computer stuff. So that okay. kind of got moved over to Instagram. And I have a few things in the pipeline that are more technical, as well as which includes a few products, <laughs> which some people was like, yeah, that's a piece of garbage. And I probably will be wearing khakis and a white shirt for that. <laughs> Go full ABG. So, so, so what kind of products are you? So you're reviewing products or? Yeah. Like gaming products. Oh, gaming products. Okay. So there is a yeah. classic console that came out not too long ago. Okay. I got a Rushy Taco for 25 bucks. Nice. You can kind of put two and together which one it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that, that'd be fun. Um, so you do tech stuff. Now, what did you go to college for? May I ask? You don't have to. Sure. Um, went to, originally, I started in computer science and mm -hmm. it's transferred to computer, sorry, computer information systems mm -hmm. with emphasis on software engineering. Then grad school, pretty much staying in CIS, but my master's actually geared more towards information assurance. Wow, master's degree, information, uh, computer stuff, beautiful body. You have a day job too, I assume. Yeah. Ladies, uh, um, don't don't tackle. Oh my God, there's a one at the window. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if they're they're probably here for the show that came on before me. I I don't even know the show that came on before me, but I know it's a tough act to follow because people were are literally were like knocking on the door when I was setting up. Yeah, I want to talk to whatever this guy's name is. Like, I'm sorry, like you're not him. No, I don't. I saw him. I mean, we're both we both similar skin color with uh with strangly long beards. I, <laughs> other than that. I don't know who that is. He's the beautiful one. Why don't you talk to to uh, Will over here? No, nah, man, I'm good. <laughs> I saw my True story. <laughs> oh man, so that, that, that's that's man. I wish I had them on my resume. <laughs> Bodybuilder, IT, uh, master's degree. That that's a heck of a dating profile line. Um, if, if I still had one, would <laughs> yeah, I ran a twist is I found out the hard way and guys are listening. Uh -huh. If you're in your twenties, just put it on the back burner. Cause they're gonna be like, yeah, whatever. And when you hit 30, all of a sudden they come for you. <laughs> I think it's the biological clock. Who knows? Who, who, who knows? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, stop. I'm not guessing. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not guessing at all. Um, but so the video, all that stuff works for you though, right? The the doing the video game stuff, doing the tech stuff, and the body because that all brings an audience. But does that audience mix together, or it's like you say, where it's like, eh, the fitness stuff they like looking at the pictures, but they don't really want to watch video. Is is it kind of, or does the audience actually like, dude, I'm following you? It's more like they say they're following me. Mm -hmm. And then I think it's a consensus because like I've actually gotten cool with like the majority of people that I follow that follow me and follow each other back. Mm -hmm. And you got the point we mostly follow each other on Facebook, and it almost got a consensus where it's like, hey guys, we're just gonna start putting up stuff on Instagram because it's so much stuff on YouTube now. It's almost impossible to keep up with everyone's video. It is. It, it absolutely is. And and I think I, I I don't know if I am still or not, but I'm one of those people that if you comment on my videos, I will go check you out. And that's how I met you was you found right. me either through a convention or, or through a, a social page. 
And you're one of the first, not the first, because there were some people lingering from from other uh, shows before this one on my YouTube, but you're one of the first people to follow Media Letter Sandwich, and you're actually coming out to panels, and I want to say thank you again for that. You came out you came out to at least like three different panels, like 30 miles away from each other. I think I even, I think you're still the only listener to of Media Letter Sandwich. Uh, that I gave one of my toad and bandanas to, and, and I don't yeah. have many of those. I don't reorder those things, you know. So I just want to again say thank you for that. And I, and seriously, check this guy out. I, I mean, check this guy out. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, 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 I'm making you sign a uh, sign a uh, uh, no harassment uh, paper uh, after this, so I could keep so I could do that cat call again. Okay. Um, <laughs> So you do yoga, body, a lot of physical fitness stuff. Yeah, I, I, you gotta have a story here some somewhere in this. <laughs> that what? Well, tell me a story that. Uh, um, tell tell me a story that'll make me laugh. Whether it's a yoga story, have you you taught yoga now? Right. Right. Tell me what the how the first time you teaching yoga was. Unless you got a better story. <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot, I know. Yeah, first time I did yoga, it was like super awkward, but somehow I managed to piece everything together and actually did a decent class. Like, how was it awkward? My first, my first time actually making, you know, it's like, I've done like boot, like fitness boot camp before, so mm -hmm. it wasn't that big of a deal. It was like, I felt like I had to be more, I felt like I had to like pay more attention to the alignment because I've seen horror stories where people like screw stuff up by going way out of alignment. Okay. And then I also had to like pay super close attention because there was like an elderly person there and I had to make sure that she pretty much paid attention. Like when I said, okay, I need you to do this, turn this way, and made sure that she paid attention the entire time. Okay, the last thing you want is for like a, someone that's an older individual in your class to turn yeah. the wrong way. Have you ever had people show up to your yoga class and just be like, that's a bodybuilder. What does he know about yoga? Did any kind of attitudes like that or no? Uh, that happened a couple of times. And then after the class, okay, this guy knows what he's doing. Has anyone said anything? I, 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 has anyone said anything? Like, like what's, the, what's the weirdest thing uh, um, a person in one of your classes uh, asked you or told you or you overheard? Actually, I heard that more. I feel that more like when I'm actually taking a yoga class. Uh -huh. And to tell you the worst thing I've heard in a yoga studio is going to take, <laughs> take a minute. Because <laughs> when you're up and have been multiple yoga studios over the last, over like two or three years, you'll hear a lot of stories. <laughs> Mostly good, though. So no complaints. Okay. Um, trying to find a good top 10 list. I had one earlier. I don't know why I can't. Uh, yep, letting you know right now, if you're bodybuilding and powerlifting, the best music will be the opposite of what you do for yoga. <laughs> because I don't think my gym playlist will go over well in a yoga studio, considering, I, yeah, if I'm walking in a yoga studio, people maybe turn off to DMX, Disturbed, Behemoth, and a few other crazy albums I listen to. Yeah, even Pantera, even Pantera, I think, may cause some issues. Pantera, walk is good when you're walking to the squat, right? But not when you're trying to walk into a yoga studio. Oh, come on. Who doesn't want to hear uh, Pantera walk when you're doing downward dog? <laughs> I mean, you got to get pumped up, right? <laughs> and I have heard that there, they, there are metal yoga stu uh, classes, just like there is drunk yoga classes. <laughs> um. I was looking for brutal yoga classes. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not brutal, it's not metal. Oh, dude, dude, just need to do. You just need to do uh, uh, karaoke to that way all the time. <laughs> so, for people that want to um, go the extra step and start bodybuilding, what do you tell them? What's your What's your number one tip? It's a few things I tell them. First, I tell them like, okay, try to develop a schedule. It's a set time where you know you're going to be able to get to the gym. Hi, man. Been, pff, no one's got time for that. <laughs> I mean, very, I know. Like, pretty much try to, you know, block off like an hour, of the, you know, a day, probably three, mm -hmm. you know, three times a week. When you're starting off, maybe you need to bump it up to like five or six, depending on how your body reacts to it. 
And then last but not least, when it comes to food, the best way to do it when you're starting off, just keep it simple. Mm-hmm. Got a lot of people, they'll try to like get a little whole nine yards with like Excel spreadsheet with like 20 different equations and calculations Ooh, in there. It's too difficult for me. I can't do that. Yeah, that's why I tell people to keep it simple. Yeah. Because you'll be amazed how many people will do that. They have a spreadsheet that's like 20 megs, 100 calculations in there. And they're like, why did my diet fail? I'm like, you overcomplicated it. Mm-hmm. What? Let's go back to time management. Because that, that's something everyone, well, not I me, mean, not everyone, but a lot of people struggle with until they find something right for them. And then it, it might not even work out for a long period of time. How do you, how do you tackle time management? For me, it's like I kind of lucked out, be have you know mm-hmm. being at a job where there are some days where I may actually have time to actually work out during lunch. I got a quick hour workout and then come back. Mm-hmm. But most of the time, what I'll do is try to plan it out so where I'm like work out like almost like right after work. So basically, as soon as I leave the office, go to the gym, then go home. Or if it's a day when I'm really crunched with time, like these last few weekends, I have a home gym. Mm-hmm. So what I'll do the first thing in the morning is go in the basement, get it in, and then go from there. What about those days where you're just like, I don't want to do it today. I don't want to. Do, I just, I'm just going to sleep an extra forty minutes instead. Yeah, that's what Red Bull is for. <laughs> 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 or monsters, actually. I'll be honest with you. Just, just suck it up and do it. Yeah. Well, uh, what about? Uh, I mean, the, the hardest thing to do is get back into it, and I know that. Um, if you look at me, you could tell that that I know that personally. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the you know so when it comes to Christmas time, your gym might be closed. You or or you're traveling. How hard is it for you to get back into it? And do you have any tips for traveling? One thing I've done is like actually you know check out other YouTubers because they have a few travel workouts where you can do your, your mm-hmm. just you know workout with your body weight. And then also you can go to like Dick's or Donald's to get like a package of bands. Mm-hmm. I highly recommend you probably go to Amazon and get the Biolastic Bands. That's what I've been using for the last umpteen years. Just quick tip, perfectly. if you ever use Amazon, use smile.amazon. That way, it doesn't cost you anything more, but a couple cents of whatever you're buying will go to a charity of your choice. And of course, since we're partnered with DV Radio, I, my charity of choice is DV Farm. Uh, and you could go ahead and Google dvfarm.org or go to dvfarm.org and you can look up that wonderful charity. But if you know that's just a tip, if you use Amazon, you smile at Amazon because you're doing a little bit of good there and doesn't cost mm-hmm. you anything extra. It's still, still the exact same thing as Amazon with Amazon Prime, all that good stuff. Sorry, go ahead. No problem. Yep, like by the last bands is like those are the ones where you actually feel like I feel like I should get a decent workout using those because mm-hmm. you get some of the cheap ones and it feels like you're not really getting tension on the muscle. You get the bioelastic band system and that's why you can actually adjust the resistance a lot better so it's like you're not close to using free weights. Okay. So for bodybuilding, they're awesome, not so much for powerlifting. Right. I would say they're probably, if powerlifting, I'd say, I'd say that they're actually good for powerlifting but basically kind of help you know, kept, you know, help reinforce your form. If you like wrap the bands against a barbell, mm-hmm. if you're doing bench press or if you're doing deadlifts, it kind of holds you into place and also adds doesn't as you come up. So in other mm-hmm. words, it's pretty much the anti-cheat mechanism. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, those are good tips. I, I remember um, I did finally, oh, about a year or so ago, I decided to uh, uh, check out the uh, Diamond Dallas Page Extreme Yoga. I don't know if you've ever taken, I, you've obviously heard of it, but, you know, um, when you mentioned use your own body weight, how does, is that kind of the idea behind extreme yoga or is that something that you don't really? You know, for me, I run, tw- it's funny, right? Like, they don't, we actually mm-hmm. do go to a, funny story okay please yeah someone actually taught me into like going to like one of the more extreme yoga studios which mm-hmm. i will never go to again Two, i feel like this i went in there and the guy was like oh yeah just try it just try to go in this move try to go in here go in here mm-hmm. next thing you know i popped something in my hamstring oh all for two months basically that extreme yoga was more, was more taxing to my body than picking up 500 pounds on a deadlift wow Wow, do 500 pounds on deadlift, but extreme yoga, out, tap out. Yeah, <laughs> that's what my body was telling me. Some people can do it, but mm-hmm. it's like if your body, if you, I mean, it's like one of those things you got to build stuff up to it. Mm-hmm. Just like, with, like for me in parlance, you know, picking up, be able to pick up 500, 515, and hopefully 530 by October to beat the state record. But yeah, I'm not going to tell like someone off the streets that's like, oh yeah, I've never worked out a day in my life. 
Okay, oh, you're new, brand new to Parlathan? All right, I'm going to put five plates in this bar. You pick it up properly. Oh, no. No, oh, I'm, I, I mean, challenge accepted. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's what I tell. That's what I try to explain to some people, including some other yoga instructors. Is like, you know, there are some twists and some hand, you know, some arm balances that, are, you know, out for the street is not going to know how to get in and out of that stuff mm -hmm. safely. And they'll say, well, you know, part of yoga is like knowing your limitations and everything else. I know, but people that have been practicing yoga for a year or so will understand that. Someone fresh on the street is not going to know that. And by you instructing them mm -hmm. to do X, Y, and Z, they're going to try to. No, try to jump into it. Yeah, they're, they're, they're following the instructions. They don't know. If I walked into a yoga class, I don't know anything. Right. I'm going to try to do what you're telling me to do, but that doesn't mean I can do what you're telling me to do. I don't know. Um, I don't even know what parts of the body I'm even working out when doing that. I'm too busy trying to realize that, wow, I'm not the only guy in the yoga class. <laughs> <You know, laughs> I'm, I'm still in that wow factor. I'm just going to follow the instructor because they know better than me. Right. You know, stage. And, and that is a certain amount of trust. Um, if you don't already know your body, that's why you go to a beginner's class. Exactly. And that's one thing I actually like about citizen yoga. They kind of let you know before you walk in there if it's going to mm. be a beginner or an advanced class. Oh, so, so you taught at uh, Citizen's Yoga or you've attended there? Uh, I attend a lot of their classes. Okay. That's kind of like my favorite studio. That's why it popped in my head because I go in there. I'm like, okay, I know I'm going to get my butt kicked, so I'm going to yeah. prepare myself for going in there. I just know they're very popular. Citizen Yoga in downtown Detroit, which we're filming and or recording in downtown Detroit at the wonderful Foundation uh, Studio, which I forgot to mention. So we're at the Foundation Studio in the awesome Foundation Hotel. All the workers here are amazing, uh, great place. They're not a sponsor. They just let me use the studio. Fantastic, though. It, it, it's, you know, and I got to say, Citizen Yoga is right next to um, um, Fault of Midnight, which we had one of those guys in here before. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah, I know they're probably, I get, you know, because I'll pull in <laughs> at 6 in the morning, and I just see, like, crowds of people going yeah. for I don't even know if it's their, they're coming out of class already. So And it's funny <laughs> that you brought that up because Vault of Midnight, they know my face all at this point. <laughs> Think of, I'm a huge comic book nerd, video uh -huh. game nerd, and I'm like right there at the studio. So they're like, hey, well, how you doing? <laughs> so basically, I'm like, there's like, yep, it's a buff guy with a yoga mat underneath his armpit as well. <laughs> so you got a yoga mat under one arm, and then what comic do you got underneath the other? Probably Batman. <laughs> People that know me, like, yep, he's about to get the new Batman. <laughs> and I know this weekend, uh, we're recording uh, August 14th. Uh, I know that this is coming out. Out on, uh, let me do the math after the Michigan Comic Con. But Michigan Comic Con is happening right down the street. In fact, I'm actually looking at Kobo right now. So, yeah, once again, yay, Detroit. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, I, I, you're going to be at the Comic Con as well. Yeah, if I go, it's probably more likely it's going to be on Sunday. Okay. Yeah, it's like we're actually will be like attending an event that citizens doing on Saturday mm -hmm. just as attendee because it's supposed to help people that have mental issues, mostly. Anti-suicide prevention. Okay. Wait, so Sorry. Citizens Yoga is doing that on Saturday? Yeah. So you're still going to be in the area on Saturday? Yeah. I'll probably just go afterwards. Okay. So you're probably going to go on Saturday and Sunday is what you're saying? Yep. Man, what convention can you say that for? Usually, common conventions, you only go one day. That that's. Are you cosplaying this time? I'm debating on it. Okay. You know, it's funny. I actually do have like the orange Goku shirt and oh, some yeah. orange pants. Do it, man. So I may just go, probably go to like some random store, get a blue wig, and go Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Yeah. Also known as Super Saiyan Blue. <laughs> <laughs> Do it, man. <laughs> Do it. I, I, I know that'd go over well at uh, YomaCon, but that'll go over well here, too. Yeah. All right. So um, go ahead. Where can we find your social medias? Sure. You can find me on YouTube at WBone05 or do a search for Jack Geek. Same thing goes to Instagram. Look up Jack Geek on Instagram. I'm right there. And also, I have like the Jack Geek fitness classes on Facebook. I'll probably get active with that again in the near future. But for now, just go to YouTube and Instagram. And if you guys are in the area, as mentioned earlier, I am doing a few boot camp classes in yoga with our chiropractic. And I'm also involved with Yoganic Flow. But that's another local yoga group that's here in the city. And they provide a lot of great and free yoga classes. So when you got a chance, check out Yoganic Flow. Tell me about the real, what's it called? Sorry, Real Weights for Real Heroes. Okay, so what is Real Weights for Real Her Heroes? 
it was an event that this guy named Mark Lobliner, who's out in Ohio, had pretty much created. Mm-hmm. Cause he was trying to like prove a point to somebody about okay, you know, because one guy was some guy from YouTube years ago was talking about he could lift this, this, and everything else, and he was using plastic weights or fake weights allegedly. So basically, he created the event to call him out in public to see if the guy was really serious about it. Mm-hmm. And then it, then the big then it was like one of those jokes that actually came into something like, wait a minute, we're raising a lot of money. We got to do this for a good cause. And that's when he contacted people from Separate Faith Fund. It's so, okay, we're going to go ahead and raise some money for the vets. Mm-hmm. And then sadly, though, at the last second, the guy that, you know, they're trying to challenge originally, he decided, you know, he still backed up even though they're going to pay for it fully because he knew that. We're, at that point, we pretty much knew that, okay, he was using plastic weights. So at that point, he kind of <laughs> opened it up to everybody that had a YouTube channel. Right. So I kind of saw the invite. I you know, went ahead and attended it. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead, you know, put my money down here. And mm-hmm. while I'm down there, I might as well compete doing, power, doing the whole powerlifting. But for me, it was deadlift only that day. Wow. So it's a competition that had a charity component for, uh, for veterans. Yep. That's that, that's pretty cool. Now, did you know? That, you know, I remember. You know, blah, 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 blah. were there any like veterans competing? Because um, I, I I don't know about you, but I love watching someone compete. Like I got one arm, but I can still kick your yep, butt with there it. There was a guy that was doing that. Uh-huh. One, basically, the guy was actually lifting with one leg. Oh wow! I mean, he wasn't squatting, but I mean, he was actually able to deadlift with one leg. Okay. Not, not he had a prosthetic leg. I assume right, yeah, he needs something leg. for Yeah, mouth. prosthetic. Prosthetic, okay. yeah. <laughs> I wonder if that... Is it cheating to do like a 5K with prosthetic legs? I'm, I don't quite... I, I don't know. Someone, yeah. someone can tell me. Um, <laughs> we need a biomechanical engineer in here to verify it. <laughs> I'm sorry, your your leg uh, has a couple components. It counts as cheating. Well, if you can find my legs, I would use those. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Make sure it has like a plant operating system installed, and we should be fine. Yeah. Um. Where where can we find your your social medias again? Sure. Best bet. I'm oh, sorry. Your best bet would be do a quick search on YouTube for the Jack Geek. Or WBowen05. I'm actually more active on Instagram at the moment, but I actually will be definitely more active on YouTube as I get more content rolling out because I got a few things on the back burner I need to start editing and uploading. And last but not least, if you're in the Troy, Michigan area, check out Thrive Chiropractic because in the near future, I'll be doing some boot camp classes there as well as yoga. And that goes to another line of, line of study I've been going into with yoga to kind of Relax and just let go. All right, so I'll go ahead and transition to Toad and Reeds. Here I have, I had a better list, I think, but I found another top, uh, well, this is a top 25 list of workout songs. Um, There's no explanation. I I think this is, I don't like this list just because there's no explanations. It just, it's literally just a list of songs. That's it. No explanations, no nothing. And I, I don't, e- I can't even find an artist here. This is from Muscle and Fitness. I don't, don't see, don't see an author. Um, so I guess I don't have to ch- give them a shout out. Um, okay, there's some good. There's top twenty five. So wh- I'm going to go through this. You can tell me if it's in your workout, not in your workout. Um, there's things in here. I don't know who these people are, and there's other things in here. They were in my workout 15 years ago, but not anymore. Uh, number 25 is, I still think it's a classic, Click, Click, Boom by Saliva. I, I still can't pronounce spit. How about that? <laughs> Good song, but ironically, it's not on my list. Okay. Um, I actually, I think they, they, they play like a local dive bar around here once found. Like they're not even in like a, like a Harpo's or Fillmore anymore. <laughs> they're in like a, a, a round, I think like, like a roundabout or around some, a, a dive bar <laughs> that, uh, down river ice they play once in a while. Maybe they know the owners, but um, big things popping by TI. Used to be on my playlist. Okay. And if you have anything you want to add, dude, go for it. Um, now, this is something that used to be on my playlist, uh, Break Stuff by Limp Biscuit. Yep. Had that on there for a while, too. 
Yeah, not so much anymore. You know, for, I'm sorry, Fred Durst. No, no, I'm not. Uh, get owned by Eminem. Ooh, get owned by Eminem. Is that a song or is that just Fred Durst <laughs> getting owned by Eminem? <laughs> just Fred Durst getting owned by Eminem. I actually saw Olympus get with Eminem for uh, Anger Management Tour back in 2000, either 2000 or 2001. And Papa Roach was there too. Ironically, Papa Roach is playing tonight in Detroit. Um, Papa Roach being the disappointing one in that group, actually. I heard they, they've improved, but that wasn't a good night for them. Um, Monster by Skillet, which I still think is overrated, but whatever. Don't have that one. Yep. Uh, that song, but not my favorite. <laughs> Shut Them Down, LL Cool J. Nope. I don't even know what song that is. I don't. I know who LL it's a Cool good J song, is, but, like, but not exactly the best lifting song. Yeah, then why is it on here? Um, I don't. I don't think this really. This is not a pump up song for me. I know it is for other people. A long way to the top by ACDC. Nope. ACDC has so many amp songs that that's not even in their top five getting amp songs. I don't feel like. Right. I just think of uh, um, School of Rock when I hear that song. Uh, with with uh, Jeff Black, yeah, or Jack Black, I don't know, one of them. <laughs> um, let's go, Calvin uh, Harris featuring ne- Neo, Neo. I don't know his name, yo. Back in the day, that actually was my playlist. Both okay. for Group X. I don't know who that is. Okay, so I know this band name, but I don't know the song. I, I feel old reading this because this is stuff either that I used to listen to like twenty years ago. Or I don't know and what this is now. Bringing down the giant by saving Abel. I thought that was like like a uh, that like an emo band. I think so. It's not on my list. <laughs> uh, okay, well, back for more. Five finger death punch. Okay. Anything by five, five finger, finger death, death punch. punch. Yeah. I got a few of those songs on my list. Yeah. Uh, no matter what, another song by Ti. Okay. I don't know who Ti is. What's that stand for? No? Dude. Yeah, it's like, I'm going to keep that one blank because he's <laughs> done certain things in the last year or so. Okay. So I, I don't say, know who that is. I will is. say this. It means T.I.P. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're going to stop there. Okay. Uh, Metallica is always on, on these lists. It's, uh, on here we have Fade to Black. Okay. I, I think there's some other ones. I mean, Whip Flash. Whip, where's, is Whip Flash on here? Whip Flash is way more... Way better than uh, uh, for for you know to get pumped up. Whip flash over fade to black any day. Yeah. Um, face the pain by Stem. Don't know. Uh, don't no. know that one. Um, okay, so instead of giving you the song here, I'm going to give you the artist, and you tell me which one of their songs is or sh- or, or has been on your playlist. Tupac. All eyes on me. That's what I would put too, or pretty much anything from the Machiavelli album. Uh, this one is "Hit 'Em Up," which is a okay. good one too. Um, no, I'm gonna do it that way. I like that way better. ACDC. What songs from ACDC? You give me like three, since we already said there's a ton of them. Uh, this one I don't have any. You don't have any. Okay. Um, one that is not on mine and never has been. Is you shook me all night long. Sorry again, ACDC. A lot of pump up songs. That would be one if they didn't have so many other ones. Oh, you, Rage Against Machine. They have a lot of good ones, but ironically, I don't have any of my playlists at the moment. Okay, name a good one. Which which one do you think's on this <sighs> list? Now I'm drawing a blank. Do, 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 do. It's okay. Pressure's on, man. The <laughs> pressure's on. <laughs> Under pressure. Do, do, do. That's not the song, by the way. Why am I doing the Ice Ice Baby beat? Do, 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 do. No? Okay. None of those songs. Um, the, it, uh, the one on this list is Killing in the, the Name. name. <laughs> yeah. I, I personally would have went um, No Shelter, even though that one's not as popular. Uh, and of course, yeah, it's Rage Against Machine. They have a lot of good ones. Um. LL Cool J, um, he's on here again. Now, this one's a good one, an old school one. All right. Mama said knock you out. <laughs> I was about to bring that one up. <laughs> Going back to Five Finger Death Punch, I got the remix with 
mm-hmm. Five Finger Death Punch, and Tech Nine. Oh, nice. The every time I, I hear Mama said knock you out, I almost have to play that back to back with Will Smith, um, knock out Mike Tyson. <laughs> or I thought I could knock out Mike Tyson. It's been a while since I heard it, but old Will Smith, fresh print. We're talking fresh print stuff. Um, I, I don't even know who that Bill Conti. I don't know who that is. I have no idea who that is. All right, I'm just gonna skip him because yeah. who cares? <laughs> um, Eminem. He, he okay. Eminem's on here. Uh, the a Kim couple song. More times. Which one? <laughs> the Kim song. <laughs> okay. This one, um, he's on here two more times. Instead of going down the list, I'm just going to say both the songs. Till I Collapse and Lose Yourself. But he has so many good yeah, ones. Yeah, Lose Yourself is on there. Yeah. Okay. I know for me, Slim Shady used to be on there for, for a while. And uh, Role Model. I, I, I always, I don't know why I even like that song. But I always yeah. like that song, Role Model. But he's got he's got some, some good ones uh, to get you pumped up. And now I have an ad popping up. No th- go away. Go away. Wow, it asked me if I wanted to be cut. Probably not in that way. Um, was it a Slipknot reference? No. Okay. No, it was an <laughs> ad for to be to. Uh, uh, um, it was some kind of workout ad. It says, "Do you want to be cut?" And it showed me a, a pair of abs. For me, that was Slipknot talking about cut, cut, cut me up, Custer. <laughs> With my luck, that's what they meant. Um, Okay, another ACD song. This one I, I agree with, Back in Black. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to skip. Well, no, I'm not going to skip it. Bob Bailey and the Hustle Standard. I don't know who yep, they are. Got the oh, they're on Hungry. There. Hungry, yes. That's on here. I don't know I don't know that song. Um, Flow Rider. There's only, they only have what, one song anyway? Come on. Flow Rider. Dun, 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 dun. Good Get feeling. low. Get low, yep. That, but not on this list. It's good feeling. I'd I would right. go on with get low because that's the one I know. Uh, body headbangers. No, I've heard of them. Can't be touched. Um, I'd rather go with MC Hammer. Can't touch this. Uh, <laughs> uh, another Bob Bailey and the Hustle Standard. This one's work, hustle, kill. kill. Um, lose yourself. I'm mean, where you mentioned that. And the number one. I saw this on other lists too, and I totally disagree with it. Only one song by Survivor, so it's got to be Eye of the Tiger. Ah. Um, I don't know that. I mean, uh, I just figured Pan- no Pantera. There's no. P- I, I, I guess Five Finger Death Punch replaced Pantera. Um, sorry, guys. I, I, I guess that's what happened. Is, is there a council of this? I don't know. I, I go to Planet Fitness. They play they they play some pop music stuff, and if you don't bring your own music, that's on you. <laughs> yeah. So basically, let me guess. You go to Planet Fitness. They play the Super Mario World theme, but if you go to Mind and Muscle, they play Doom. No, they. I, I don't know what they're playing. They play a bunch of new bands I've never heard of. Um, it's usually more poppy than anything else, and I'd honestly rather be listening to a podcast. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess you can, you know, I guess listening to uh, uh, Ben Shapiro could pump pump you up a little bit. At least Perfect for leg day. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, leg, yeah. Well, I'm not, well, when I'm on the, um, when I'm running on the treadmill or um, or elliptical, I'm usually watching like anime or something. So, yeah. One piece. <laughs> Thank you for watching Media Litter Sandwich. You can find Media Litter Sandwich at MediaLairSandwich.com, Toadin.com, YouTube.com, slash K, or pretty much any podcast app, as I mentioned earlier, Spotify, Podbean, uh, the Apple thing, the Google thing, the Amazon thing. I think they have a thing. I don't know. Uh, if you ask Alexa, she will play us. Probably on, I think, the TuneIn app uh, she plays us on. I don't know why she's a she, but whatever. Uh, so we're on a lot of different podcast apps. If you... Th- if you enjoyed this, please subscribe, follow, listen, wherever you're listening at. Uh, feel free to comment, join the Facebook groups, uh, follow the Facebook pages, Be Dealer Sandwich. Uh, share it. If you think this will help someone or if you got a kick out of it, that's the best way to, uh, to help out this channel, uh, this podcast, I should say, is by sharing. Again, thank you. 
Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Hope you enjoyed our discussion and may the algorithms be in your favor.